Campus uh, with Elisabeth Lopinos, who is one of my female heroes when it comes to science and entrepreneurship. You are founder and CEO uh, of a biotech company. Can you explain us what you're doing and what your research fields are? Yes, so we are a biotech company that focuses in cancer, in oncology research, and we use nanotechnology to deliver drugs directly into tumors. So it's imagine that we, you could do an artificial virus and have the drug inside of the virus and that would go directly in the cell. That way we wouldn't have to take so many drugs that would kill us before they save us and would make cancer a curable disease. Yeah. So that means that you're not um, producing an own drug, but that you are producing something nano that delivers drugs to right places. Like, is it applicable with all drugs for cancer or just with specific? We are working with different types of drugs and so far we've been very successful with a sort of drugs that are very difficult to deliver and that uh, is a big promise, which are nucleic acid drugs like RNAi and DNA. We can also do it with other types of drugs, the ones that are usually used in, in the clinic right now and we can enhance that efficacy a lot. So it's very versatile, it's a, it, it's a great technology. <laughs> Yourself, you are from um, Barcelona or Madrid? Yes. Yes. I, am from, I am Catalan actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you just moved here uh, to the US, to Boston. Uh, how come that you starting your company here? That's a very good question. I think that uh, uh, as a small company, you have to be very competitive. You um, work in a global environment and Boston is a cluster for biotech. In a very small surrounding, like where we are here, you have the biggest pharma companies, which they are headquarters of R&D are located here. You have all sort of services for startups and then obviously financing, which is very, very important. So this is the key for success if you want to uh, start a company. I think that's why we're located here. Curing cancer is uh, really a dream of humanity and it's one of the I think most deathful diseases worldwide. Everybody tries to find a cure for that. How come and what is what was your specific key success factor to discover something really so uh, groundbreaking new? I think that uh, the idea was uh, let's uh, uh, not reinvent new drugs. We already have an arsenal of fantastic drugs but let's make them go straight to the tumor. So instead of thinking of the object let's think of the delivery and that's the the key difference and I think that uh, right now there are a few companies um, uh, two of them that I know from here MIT right beside that are with the same idea and uh, we are in the race and we're gonna make a difference um, this at the beginning of uh, 2010 you were named as a young global leader in innovation by the World Economic Forum did this title uh, title help you like what happened after that well, the title helped a lot. First of all, is a recognition by a third party that it's very well validated and very prestigious. Uh, then it's the, uh, a good thing for small companies to get that support and obviously we had a great media exposure and that allowed us to get more access to funding, more access to research. Everything uh, started to be easier for us after that. Okay, and um, like uh, I think people would be interested when the first products will be marketed. Do you already have um, tried it with uh, humans or in which stage are you? We are at animal trials and we uh, are going to be in the clinic in 18 months and uh, it's a very defined path. Uh, right now we're being having excellent data with animals and we're really looking forward to bring this to humans. What does it mean uh, excellent data with animals? Can you give us an example like the cures? Yeah, so for example with a drug that uh, with, uh, without uh, uh, our uh, nanosphere would not do any effect, we have a complete response of a tumor. That means that the tumor completely disappears and that's uh, something extremely significant for an animal experiment. So we're really hopeful and uh, we strongly believe this is going to be a great impact for the world. Yeah. And uh, like I'm from Europe, like what, what do you think in a year or in a half, one, one and a half years I can have access to your medications in Europe or how will you market? So so uh, when a drug is in clinical trials, it's only accessible to a certain uh, type of patients and it's very regulated. Um, and then it, this drug will be available in the marketplace um, in about seven years and that's when it's going to be much more accessible. Unfortunately, that's the way regulatory bodies work and it's worldwide and we have to be ruled by the same. 
I've got one question for you. Because you're not only a scientist, what really, really impressed me that you're yourself an entrepreneurial woman. And I've heard a lecture of you where you had uh, on display uh, one of your heroes, I think, uh, about entrepreneurship, Richard Branson. Like, what connects you with him and do you have uh, common goals? Yeah, so I like of Richard Branson that he's fearless. And uh, there's only one handicap, is fear. And uh, I think that he's even better than me because he's, he hasn't even feared to die to death. And uh, so it's fantastic. I read uh, his biography and I'm inspired. I think that uh, he's uh, like us, not uh, sometimes not inventing new things, but reinventing them, making them efficient. And uh, that's what we need today, you know, make things efficient, just not try to invent more things, just make what we have really good.